The Target Dimitri Vandenberg Darts Review begins right now. It's gonna be a good one. What's up guys, Worldwide here. I have an incredible video for everyone today. I gotta admit, I'm pretty excited about this one. In this video, I'll be reviewing the Dimitri Vandenberg darts from Target. Now, hey, before I jump into things, before we get the review rolling, I do wanna clear one thing up. So several months ago, I did this video, the top five ugliest pro player darts. Now, lo and behold, in that video, the Dimitri Vandenberg darts made an appearance. I still hold by that same opinion today. These are not the most aesthetically pleasing darts. I don't like the looks of them. However, I have had a chance to throw them for the last three or four days. Hopefully you guys saw the video that I did last week on the Target Swiss Storm Points. I was using these darts. So while they don't look good in my opinion with the five different grip zones, with the sandblasted nose cone, sandblasted knurled nose cone, hey, they throw really, really well. So um, can't fault them for not looking great, right? And again, that's just my opinion, not a big deal. I do want to clear another thing up. In the past, I've been dead wrong about these darts, by the way, but in the past, I've said that these nose cones, and I'll put a picture over here, the sandblasted knurled nose cones would be harmful to our expensive Condor flights or other molded flights. From every indication that I'm seeing, I was wrong about that because like I said, I've been using these for about three or four days now, put in a few hours, and these flights have remained absolutely perfect. I mean, literally not a scratch on them. And actually at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you guys the flights, what they look like after about two, two and a half hours of play, something like that, I don't know, but um, they're absolutely perfect. Oh, and I do have to say, I have been using the Target Swiss Storm Points, so obviously that helps, but as far as these knurled, sandblasted nose cone, they do not harm your flights. So very gentle on the flights. So that's good news, right? Um, what else we got? So, um, cheapest place on the internet I found to buy these double top darts. They're right around 64 US dollars with that discount code. I'll give you the discount code, save about 5%. So right around $60 for these, not a bad deal, right? They do come in 21, 23, and 25 grams. Link to double top darts down below in the pinned comment. That's where you can pick them up. If you know of a cheaper place, let me know down below. But yeah, that's the cheapest place I could find. So I guess whew, that was a big ramble, right? Let's get on to the rest of the video. It should be a good one, guys. Here we go. Okay, so quite a bit to cover with these darts. So I'll try to keep the video moving along pretty quickly. Pretty typical Target cardboard hand case, as you see there. I guess I can read what's in the box. Of course, we have our Dimitri Vandenberg Gen 1 barrels over here. Pro Grip shafts, Pro Ultra Flights. The Swiss DX points, 26 millimeters. Wait till you see those things. Those are a busy point. And of course, we've got our Swiss point tool right there. So that's the packaging. The darts did come fully assembled in this um, foam insert. And of course, the Target warranty card. These are listed as 20.9 grams. So I will double check that here in just a bit. Now, for the darts. This is one busy barrel, starting up front with the points, like I said, three different grip sections. You've got this up front, like the Pro Diamond design, micro multi-rings, and then three little multi-rings there. The nose cone, you've got some knurl, you've got some micro multi-ring grip, and sandblasting in the middle of the dart. Twin ring grip, up back, razor grip. I mean, come on, that is about as busy as it gets, right? It seems like Target just threw everything they could think of into one barrel. But we got some nice sand colored Pro Grip stems. Those are looking pretty short. And of course, the Dimitri Vandenberg Dream Maker standard size flights. I think those are standard size, right? Well, they're pretty close. They're not like a number six, are they, or anything like that? I don't know. Pro Ultra Flights. So yeah, there they are. But what do you say we get a little bit closer look and I'll hit you with all the stats and dimensions and we'll go from there. Okay, there you go. Nice look at the very busy looking darts, right? I guess that's the best way I can describe them here. We'll start out front. Again, the 26 millimeter Swiss DX points with the three different grip zones. The barrels, 90% tungsten. The barrel length coming in at 50 millimeters even. 
in the barrel width with these being straight barrel dart 6.2 or very skinny 6.2 millimeters wide now i did unscrew the stems checked all three this time they were all drilled out 11.1 millimeters deep in the back end now as far as the match weighting you guys saw the target warranty card they claimed 20.9 grams pretty much spot on i did get a little excited though because I, I put the first two barrels on the scale 20.88 so i'm like oh boy here we go perfect match weight wasn't to be because i put the third one on the scale 20.95 so no issues with that seven tenths of a gram off from lightest to heaviest as long as it's in within one tenth of a gram i'm good with that so again pretty decent match weighting there but let's get a close-up look and i'm going to try to describe all these different grips for you okay so uh yeah a lot to cover here i mean this is I guess it's just a bizarre dart. And the reason I say it's bizarre is because I'm going to slide a picture of Dimitri's old unicorn darts right above. I mean, look at that dart. Simple, straight barrel, smooth nose cone. And uh, yeah, just a skinny straight barrel dart. Now, total opposite here. A lot going on. I have no idea why they went th with this aggressive nose cone. I mean, that's going to absolutely destroy your expensive molded flights or condors. It's just going to scratch him up, and uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm not a fan of that nose cone at all, but we'll go to the points. I did have the opportunity to throw these a few times, and wow, they stick in the board really, really well. That is one aggressive point. But yeah, back to the nose cone, sandblasted, knurled, micro multi-rings here. Not as grippy as you might think. So yeah, the middle of the barrel, pretty basic though, simple Twin ring grip, nothing wrong there. Nice grip though, by the way. Probably like a level 2.3 in the middle of the barrel. It's uh, for a twin ring grip, it's mild. And then on the back end, what on earth is going on here? You have some super, super sharp razor grip. So for whatever reason, if you're gripping on the back of the barrel, wow, that is grippy. That's like a level, I don't know, three and a half grip, maybe a little more. I mean, it's a small section, but wow, it's grippy. So yeah, there's the barrel, right? Different. There's the flights. Oh, you know what? So since I want to preserve these flights a little bit for the throwing part of the video, I've got a little treat for you. Hold on a second. Swiss point tool. My focus is acting weird tonight. So we're going to ditch those for the throwing part of the video. And check this out, guys. Happen to have the brand new Target, whoops, brand new Target Swiss Storm Point. Look at that. And this is the smooth one. I think these are 26 millimeters as well. So let me get this installed. Tighten it up. And yeah, now we're talking. Look at that nice transition. Perfect transition. So you're not going to bash on your flights. However, look at this transition on the nose cone. Rest in peace flights. But I think that'll help. I think that'll help a little bit. I'm going to test them out anyway. So yeah, there's the darts, and that is exactly how I'll be throwing them for the throwing part of the video. So let's get into it, see how I do. Here we go. Okay, here we go. We'll have a few turns here, and warm-up was quick. Like I said, I've been using these for a couple days now, three, four days, something like that. And um, I'm already used to the darts. They're throwing incredibly well, surprisingly well. And um, yeah, couldn't be more happy with them. So. Not sure how this is going to go, but we're going to go right back to the checkouts. You guys seem to really enjoy that, so I'll keep them going. The checkouts today, where are we? 69, 79, 89, 99, everybody hates 99, and 109. So those will be my five turns today. Oh, and I do want to mention the board because I usually get a couple questions about that. For home use, the Target Aspar dartboard has been fantastic. Absolutely love the board. It's firm. I have a hard throw, so I prefer a firm board, long lasting. The spider is holding up well. I don't even remember the last time I got a bounce out. And it's quiet. It's quiet as well. Oh, one more thing too. When you rotate the board, those of you out there with OCD, it's, it's very pleasing on the eyes. You don't have one big logo that's upside down when you rotate it. So everything is symmetrical. Great, great board. If you can find it on sale, even better, but 1010, recommend that dartboard. It's great, it really is. And I wouldn't say that. I don't, I don't recommend anything that I don't stand behind. That's a great dartboard, so. Anyway, all right, 69, first throw. Couple different ways you can go. Again, match situation. Is the opponent on a checkout or are they way, way back? So I prefer treble 15. Don't go low. You'd rather hit a single 10 
compared to a single two. So keep that in mind. You watch, just because I said that, single two. Now with treble 15 for double 12. Hey, there it is. I was, I was reaching a lot with that second dart. All right, we got some green up here to start it off. Okay, 79, there's, again, I've mentioned this in other videos, 79, there's a lot of checkout charts that'll tell you to throw at the treble 13. Here's the problem with that. If the opponent's, again, if the opponent's way back, go for it. Treble 13 leaves 40, so that's a great checkout. However, if the opponent is sitting on a finish themselves or a one dart checkout, if you go at the treble 13, you hit a single, you're left with 66. Not ideal, right? Two darts in hand. Really, the only way to finish there is 16 bullseye. Is there a better way? Yeah, you go 19. That way, if you hit a single 19, you're left with 60. So would you rather be left with 66 with two darts in hand or 60 with two darts in hand? Easy answer, right, guys? That should be a 100% answer. So 79, we'll go 19s. <laughs> all that. I said all that to hit a 7. All right, 72, I don't know. Now I'm screwed. Oh, hey, I might save the day. To leave double 12? Ah. Two darts in hand from 72. Do whatever you have to do to get to a double. Trouble 20 would have been fine there. Ah, all right. First dart is not good today. All right, 89. I think that's, I think we can all agree on that one. Man, I'm really struggling on that 19. And that leaves the bull. Oh, again. Mm. Right on it. Okay, guys, 99. First of all, be mad at yourself for leaving yourself 99 to begin with. As Wayne Martle says, you got to have good board management, right? So... Don't end up on 99 in the first place. That's the best advice I can give you. However, if you do, 19, trouble 19 preferably, or single 19. And if I had a single 19, I'm going two at the tops. So we'll see how this works out. I'm not feeling too confident. Even though the darts are throwing nice, they really, they feel great. I don't know what's going on right now, but man, that second dart is deadly, right? I've been saving my turn with a second dart. Oh, <laughs> come on. I will take that. Yeah, I guess, um, wow, all right. <laughs> that put me in a good mood. So um, what do we got left? Oh, 109. So check this out. 109, kind of, you would think going 19s would make sense, right? However, what happens if you miss to the left, which I've been doing on my first dart? You, hit, you leave yourself 102. That's a bogey. Oh, doorbell. If you miss to the right, you're also left on a bogey. So again, no good. 20s is the option here. That way you do have the option to miss left, leave yourself 104, you can still finish. I wonder what, who's ringing my doorbell? Probably the UPS guy. All right, 109. See, I told you that first dart is terrible. And that would have left 104 for the bull. All right, well, hey, I think I got two finishes out of that deal, didn't I? We'll take it. So, I'm gonna, hey, I'm gonna wrap this up quick. I gotta see who's ringing my doorbell. Great set of darts to throw, clean release on the twin ring grip in the middle of the barrel. And actually that nose cone, not as grippy as you would expect. It blends in well to the rest of the barrel, so. There it is, guys. Two more clips coming from, uh, coming here in a second. We got the 180. We're gonna give these things a rating. And then at the very end, I'm gonna show you what these flights look like after a few days use. Perfect. So uh, enjoy the last two clips. I gotta go check the mail. sure on that second dart. Tight group though, wow. 
Okay, guys. Hey, we'll take that one, right? So there it is. Hope you guys enjoyed the review of the Target Dimitri Vandenberg darts. A pleasant surprise at how nice these were. I mean, I you know I, I don't mind admitting it was completely wrong. I mean, I still do think they're kind of ugly, but just an awesome, awesome, incredible dart to throw. And um, I'm glad I got around to reviewing that. So again, link to Double Top Darts down in the pinned comment if you want to check them out. And again, if you find a cheaper place to get them, let me know. But from my quick search, 60 bucks, $60 shipped to the USA for these. Or no, I take that back, $60 plus shipping to the USA for these. So pretty good deal. Again, that's the discount code to Double Top Darts. You can use it for these darts or any other product you want. So um, now comes a time where I give these a recommendation on how well I think they're gonna work for a recreational dart player. And I gotta say, I'm pretty surprised at the score I'm about to give them. So check this out. They come in 21, 23, 25 grams. So that covers pretty much everybody, right? It's a great dart for front, middle to middle rear grippers. I would kind of avoid that razor grip, but it's just an awesome dart to throw. It really is easy dart to throw. You can switch out the points in 30 seconds. So if you want to use a smooth set at home, if you go to Lee, you want to use a little more aggressive set. Again, like 30 seconds to switch out a set of points. The price point is well, right around $60. Not bad considering it is Dimitri Vandenberg, one of the best players in the PDC. So all in all, everything considered, great set of darts. I'm going to go ahead, 8.9 out of 10 a very well-deserving score. Let me know what you think about that score. And um, I guess that's gonna do it for the video, guys. At the end, though, I'm gonna have one more clip. I have to show you these flights. And again, keep in mind, three or four days of throwing them, probably two, two and a half hours total time throwing these darts. And honest to God, is there a scratch on here? No, they're perfect, wow. So yeah, I'm gonna show you a close-up of the flights. And uh, that's going to do it for the video. So until next time, guys, we'll see you on the next video. Later. Okay, guys, I have to admit this is impressive. But as promised, I did want to show you the flights after. Keep in mind, this is after the completion of two complete videos with the Dimitri Vandenberg darts and the Target Swiss Storm points, which these are amazing. Wow. Absolutely amazing. But yeah. These are the original flights. I haven't changed anything. And as you see, we'll look at this one first. Not even a scratch on the black part. What? Crazy, right? The middle flight. Looking good. And this one over here, actually, I did see. That's it. There was a scratch right there and a scratch over there. What about the tops, you say? Perfect. Can you imagine that's after the completion of two videos, probably two, three hours of play now? These flights are perfect. I could pass those off as new, pretty much, almost, right? Wow. Highly impressed with everything here. Again, the nose cones do not damage flights. And these Swiss Point Storm, or the Swiss Storm Points, absolutely amazing. 10-10 for these things. If you have Swiss Point darts, get these points. So that's it guys, now for a bonus, bonus clip. Okay guys, bonus, bonus clip. You're probably wondering who was ringing my doorbell? Amazon delivery driver. What did I get? Trust me, it's probably not worth, in the, worth watching the video this long. Bicycle chain lube. <laughs> That's who was ringing my doorbell. We'll see you on the next video, guys. Later. Why you think they call me Mr.